all that land along there would have been water long, low line, thinned up, and there was a, a garden down here to commemorate the town 850, or 91, the local area of the area land. And then after all this was low land, low line land around here and up along there, and sheer water was built in the middle 2000s, middle 2000s. Um, one of the ideas at the time was we we had Bolton Street students in 1978. They were doing an audit of town at the behest of Rolstone. And uh, Rolstone uh, sponsored it. And uh, we asked them to go to the department in Dublin looking at the uh, blockages on the river so was three of them, as everyone knows, Craigan, Corrie and Wiley's Moor. And uh, they did, and after that, the idea to start the opening of this marina started. And I think it was opened as far as Corrie in 99, and it was opened down to here then, after that. And it's a huge asset to town, and I hope all the boat users that use it, enjoy it. But certainly those of us who are locals know that it took a lot of, we'd say, arguing back and forth. But eventually it was opened and it's a great asset. Limited. Operating in the late 40s, early 50s. And my father built that extension to it where the window and the door is in 1954. It was 10 years of age, so I might as well tell the full <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, um, Banistow Creamer or Cooperative Machinery was going well. It had everything from a tractor to up to a uh, reaper and binder. There was no combines that time. I hope everyone can hear me. But anyway, a row rose within the, the man here's another man outside down his pub one night. And in effect it broke up the organization. And the last of the people that worked in it was the late Tom Faggy, died about two months ago. But they never progressed. And if you look nowadays, machinery is multi-billion business. So that's the sad story. Beside that house was the gas works. And one of the first things that the council done after it had been formed in the 1831 was to build a gas works there for town at the cost of 1400 pounds. Beyond that, then, what uh, we call them blasted in it. But there is the site of the, the uh, gas works was there, and they used to light it in the morning and quench it in the evening. So it was very, it was very interesting to think that that's, that was one of the first gas works built by a council in the country, by other mm. council at the time. And uh, the waters were lovely, and we enjoyed it. The canal would have run along there. Along here then would have been very low lying uh, ground as the many locals here will remember. And in 1994, between before 94, the late 80s, uh, when the late Charlie brought out that inner urban rural, inner urban relief schemes around the country, <laughs> you know, the council built and sanctioned the building of all those buildings along there. So it was a big um, it's a big improvement, even though I mentioned the Bolton Street students earlier on. They did not, they were all young architectural students who had just left college. And uh, they didn't want any building this side, because they said, they said, as architects, it would upset the balance of time. But having said that, it's been a big addition to down my humble opinion.